Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be doing System Test 63, so let's get started. Right here I have my Demco Pulse Station. This is actually made of plastic, so if I tap it with an AA battery, it's not metal. When I bought this, it was brand new in box. I expected it to be, oh shoot, I expected it to be a cast or just something metal, but it's just very cheap plastic. The only thing that's metal is the back, which is just made out of a very thin sheet of aluminum. Not very good quality. Right here, this is my AIP 270 SPO. This is just a red version of the 270 SPO branded by AIP, which stands for Alarm Industry Products. I do not have the uh, glass rod. This actually came out of a real building. You can see it also has a bit of a stripped screw head, but it's still functional. Up here, I have my Space Age AV32 light plate. I have never shown this in a YouTube video, but it is something I own. I really love this device. It's awesome. Uh, I just really, really love it. I don't know how much I can emphasize that, but yeah. Over here, well, not in like a sentient way, just they're really cool. Right here I have my Space Age uh, light only. This originally was just a shell sent to me by the scammer, yours truly, Landon Denny, or Exit Sign Guru. But this was originally just a shell. I put my own light bulb behind it, and I made a plastic mold and everything for the internals and now it works it just runs off of six volts dc here i have my carbon monoxide setup and smoke detectors so yeah let's pull the alarm oh yeah something i forgot to mention before i pull it this adepco pull station is supposed to have a plastic brake disc that goes there however this pull station didn't come with that but you can actually just use a piece of cardboard in there and it actually does take some force to activate so yeah basically you can have free brake discs just from uh, cutting up some cardboard circles so yeah, let's pull the alarm. So as you can see, this device is actually flashing uh, uh, March time. Originally, this actually does have a flasher circuit. So if I were to put it on continuous, it would flash on its own just slower than this. Um, and this is just coded to March time. This is actually on the horn circuit, so that's why it's silenced. But yeah, you can see inside of here, this is actually rather unfinished. It's a little sharp, and then this button is there. Also, this is the piece of cardboard. You can see it's just a regular screw. It's There's the model and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, there you go. You guys can see, this is really, really light. Like, I can probably, like, you can see if I just smack it up with my pinky finger, it'll just go all the way back up. So now, let's do the Edwards 270 SPO. There you go again. So yeah, this flash is pretty fast because it is on March time, like I said. But yeah, let's actually set it on code 3 for fun. Alright, I set the horns on March time. Well, code 3, I mean. So yeah, let's pull it. Alright, that's not good. As you can see again, this flashes along with the horn pattern, and this is just uh, coded to March time on the strobe circuit, so that's why it's doing that. But yeah, that's code three for you. Um, I guess I can go ahead and do the I three. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and reset this pull station. As you can see. The screw head is a little stripped, but it's still okay. I tend to find that utilizing a uh, larger screwdriver is a lot better because, you know, these small little itty bitty drivers just don't do as good of a job and they round out the head. So this is something I like to use. You can see it uh, fits just barely. That's good because that means there's not as much space for it to, you know, cam out. So yeah, if I turn it, that's very easy. Just flip the switch down and slam it closed. And just because uh, it's fun, I'm going to pull it again. By the way, I did not have to put a new piece of cardboard in. Every time, all you have to do is just reverse the side the cardboard is on, and then you can reuse it. So, yeah. It's actually a little difficult. All right, that's.
that's that. Well, thank you for watching this video. Actually, I'll just show you how to properly reset this.